Hey everyone, I'm Alfred. Welcome back to Oblivion. Oh, okay, cool. Speak. <laughs> I gotta say, speak is way too ominous. I don't think they realize this. That like, if you looked Greetings. at somebody and they were like, speak. Greetings. It'd be a little weird, is all. The best defense knows a lot about heaven. What do you? Mythic Dawn. You find it is a in a. I should study these books. Oh god, I'm not gonna have to like read, am I? Okay, that's fine. I like reading. I'm good at reading. Okay. Commentaries on the Mysterium Zars is book one, Manker Karmaran. Camoran. That's probably going to be an important name, so I should probably learn to pronounce it. Greetings, novitiate, and first, no first or reassurance. Mankar Camoran was once like you, uh, asleep, unwise, and protonymic. Protonymic means having one name, unwise is obvious, and asleep. Probably like in the same way that Dagoth Ur is the false dreamer, and that like there's a lot of sleeping and awakeness in, in Morrowind. Uh, we mortals leave the dreaming sleeve of, dirt, of birth the same. Unmantle. Yep, there it is. Mantling. Mantling is an important concept in, in Morrowind. Well, with, like, Dagoth Orr becoming a god and Vivek and... Look, I read the 36 lessons of Vivek. I highly recommend everyone go watch that. In my Morrowind LP that I did, I did, like, episodes that were not, like, real episodes, but I played through all the, the Fighters Guild um, quests. And then I... What did I do after that? Or no, I just played the Fighters Guild quests just like as a thing. And I read the 36 Lessons of Vivek. And I loosely like synced them up so that you have something to watch while you're listening to the 36 Lessons. But you don't really need to watch what's going on. It's just Fighters Guild stuff. And there's a lot of questing in Morrowind that is just very back and forth, you know? Just a lot of like, go here, kill this thing, get this guy, come back. And like... The fact that there's no voice acting and no fast travel really, really kills it. Maybe it's worse than Skyrim. I digress. Unmantle save for the symbiosis with our mothers, thus to practice and thus to rapprochement. I do not know this word. Until finally we might leave through new eyes. We might through new eyes leave our hearths without need or fear that she remains behind. Uh, in this moment, we destroy the f her forever and enter the demensin demensne of Lord Dagon. Demensne? All right, I'm Googling that because it looks like they're going to keep saying it. Legal possession of land as one zone. It's just an archaic term for the land attached to a, mantin a mansion or landed property. It's the same like root word as domain it's you could just say domain or some acres or estate perhaps they're kind of doing it just for the sake of being obtuse and and uh fantasy and you know but uh ooh. rare that a game would pull one over on me uh this book is your door to that domain, and though you be a destroyer, you must submit to locks. Lord Dagon would only have those clever enough to pause. Else, all else the Orbis claims in their full running. Walk first. Heed. The impatience you feel is your first slave to behead. Wow. Beautiful. Be I, I was complaining a lot about this game last time. Oh, also, the thing that I started but didn't finish. Somebody was like, what game is this? And like, they're always in the title. I don't know if that's like a bot comment or if they just didn't notice the title or they Googled Oblivion and only got the movie, but come on, it's fucking Oblivion. Orbis is just a archaic term for like the world at large, the universe. Walk first, heed the impatience you feel as your first slave to be hit. Obviously some extremely graphic imagery just for the sake of, look, it's, it's, you know, Dagon, it's some graphic violent imagery, but... Like, the idea of slave to behead is, like, a natural thing that you need to do and progress and overcome. That's raw, but that's pretty classic and cool. 
Um, and then there's a there's a term in I think the thirty six lessons of Avec, walk like them until they walk like you, and it's like essentially a a deistic version of fake it until you make it. But good use here. I really this is good. This is pretty good. I haven't read any of the books yet, but maybe I should have. But I guess they're making me do it. So uh, enter as Lord Dagon has written. Come slow and bring four keys. Know that you are royalty, a new breed of destroyer whose garden shall flood with flowers known and unknown as it was in the mythic dawn. I guess that's why the cult is called that. Um, royalty is, is a way to refer to divinity as like just the fact that you deserve it. Obviously in, on earth, there's a connection between being king and, and being deistic. Like a king is somebody who is chosen by God. Whereas like an emperor is somebody who is a God or is part God, which is why I hate the term God emperor. Cause God king makes sense as a way to, you know, as, as just a thing that we had before God king. Or uh, before before the term emperor, calling someone a god king makes sense because like emperor is a more concise way. But god emperor makes no sense, and I think that that's stupid. I've never liked the term god emperor, and whenever it is used, I don't. I I'm like, that's ugly use of language. Um. Anyway, royalty in, as divinity in Elder Scrolls is something that Vivek does a lot, and Chim, which may or may not be console commands or naturally achieve divinity or the understanding that you be, you get for being a god is referred to as the secret syllable of royalty of nobility or something like that uh, a new breed of destroyer again dagoth ur is interesting and unique because he's a new thing he's a new problem because obviously we've had the tribunal and and talos and arguably tiber septum and maybe mana marco yada yada etc cetera, etc cetera, as people who have all you know, become new gods and maybe potentially become new, like, Aedra. I don't know if they technically count as Aedra, but arguable. Um, and then we have the Aedra and the Daedra. And we have all of those, like, Aedric spirits and Daedric spirits. But Dagoth Ur is a different type of... I know that the that Dagoth Ur and this guy aren't technically related. They don't have to be related. But I would imagine that there would be some aftermath of, of Dagoth or outside of Morrowind. And maybe someone was like, hey, what if we what if we apply what he learned with the help of a uh, Daedric Lord? That might be what's going on here. I'm thinking of Dagoth Ur's plan because I love Dagoth Ur. And also I um I'm just thinking of like the, his, his words of like this does kind of read like the 36 lessons and then things like the dreaming very very uh dagoth like uh where were we you shall return to your oh yeah i think the mythic era is one term for a very very like old era in the elder scrolls timeline because this game takes place in the third era and actually it ends the third era and moves to the the fourth era um and some of the older games are in the second era game set in the past that is and the first era just has a lot of like real real old shit and before that is the the dawn era or the mythic era and i think the morethic era is like universal creation stuff um anyway thus you shall return to your first primal whale and yet come out different it is time for Neonimbiosis, master akin to master whose mother is Miasma. Neonimbiosis. So that rhymes with symbiosis. And then Neonim it would just be a, a way to write new name. Remember, I'm a blind... Uh, uh, this is a blind LP. I've not played Oblivion before, but I, I like the other Elder Scrolls. So this is what you're getting. Master akin to master... It shall this time be Neonimbiosis. So new name, Biosis. Life under a new name, or maybe it's just meant to be a portmanteau and it's Neonim and Symbiosis. And like by taking on a name, you're taking on who that name belongs to. And like if, if this is supposed to be like a thing where you get possessed by Dagon or you join with Dagon in some way. This is interesting. This is cool. Um, 
Neonymbiosis. So yeah, maybe this is like you act like Dagon in order to become him or let him join with you. Um, whose mother is Miasma. That might just be... Oh, this is a minor thing, but humans and elves have the same root species uh, called the Elnofe. The Elnofe split into the old Elnofe and the wandering Elnofe. Um, which then evolved further into the Aldmer and Men. And then, like, those evolved into the the Altmer and the Chimer, and then the Chimer became the Dunmer, which is a whole other thing. And the, the uh, I forget what they were called before, but some of them evolved into the Ornismer, and the, the people who lived in the woods became the Bosmer. And those are just, you know, the elven words for Wood Elf, Dark Elf, High Elf, Orc, etc., um, and you'll never actually see anyone who is an elf use the term elf because it's arguably a slur and they typically try to stick to the term mer unless they're, you know, very, very humanized. But initially they had a root ancestor, which were the Elnofe and the Elnofe are descended from gods themselves. So maybe this is like, Hey, you are about as far from gods as you could be, which is interesting because, this book is probably supposed to be like human supremacy or, or like, you know, man propaganda. And it's interesting that they would agree with elven supremacy of like, because there are more steps in between elves or there are more steps in between men and Adra than there are between elves and Adra. Elves are better than men. And because there are fewer steps between Ultimer and, and Adra, Altamore are better than regular elves. So, like, it goes... Adra, which are just the gods. Elnofe, Old Elnofe, Aldmer, Altmer. And they see that as, like, there are less steps. Because, like, two of those are just simple name changes without much different. Um, Like, Altmer and Aldmer are very close in name. Probably to evoke the idea that they are supposed to be close in nature. And so to them, there's only like three steps. There's the Elnofe and then Altmer after gods, you know? And it's interesting that this a book would agree with that because I imagine this is supposed to be like a human propaganda because this is a human, you know, a, a man uh, province is the term. As opposed to like Morrowind, which is Myrrh. Um, and it's interesting that they would agree with that sort of propaganda, but say, no, but you could take it back though. You could get back to where this race used to be, you know, take it back with the help of some Daedra. Um, every quarter has known us and none bore our passing except with trembling. We've been everywhere and people are afraid of us everywhere. Perhaps you came to us through war or study or shadow or the alignment of certain snakes. I have no idea what the alignment of certain snakes is, but the, this is the Trinity like fighter mage and thief are the Trinity. Like, in, in Elder Scrolls. And like, there's a lot of other trinities that assign themselves to those. And then arguably, the fourth part of that is speech. So like, you know, you, you all your skills in Skyrim are those three things. They're either a fighting skill, a, a magic skill, or a, 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 a thief skill. And then all of those have their own quest lines. Like, you got the Thieves Guild, and you got the Mage Guild, and ordinarily you'd have the Fighters Guild, but in Skyrim you have Companions. Um, and all of those games are like that. But then you also have the Bard's College to be Speech. Or in Morrowind, you have Fighter Mage Thief with the Tribunal. Almalexia is a Fighter, Vivek is a Thief, and Sothasil is a Mage. But you could argue that Either Dagoth, like Dagoth Ur is a fourth or fifth part of like, he's Dreamer. But for definite, for definitely, Lord Nerevar, the original one, is the fourth part of it. He is speech. And so maybe certain snakes is meant to be like a speech thing. I forget what the snake sign does, the sign of the serpent, the birth sign. Um, but also, uh, Perhaps it's like a, a reference to like serpent tongue or silver tongue. 
Uh, though each math matters in its kind, the prize is thus. Welcome novitiate that you are here at all means you have the worthiness of kings. So just get, so just getting in means that yeah no you could be you could be a part of it because they want to get members. Seek thy pocket now and look. There is a first key glinting with the light of a new dawn. Is that literal? Like if I look in my pocket, there will be a, a key. I, I don't think so. Maybe it's metaphorical. Night follows day, and so n know that this primary insight shall fall alike unto the turbulent evening sea where all faiths are tested. Okay, so after... So it is now the new day. The light of a new dawn. Because we've taken the first step. We've taken the first step, and that's the light of a new dawn. But after that new dawn is going to come night. And this primary insight will fall into the evening sea. So now that you've learned this thing, well, good for you. But also, you know, it's going to be tested. You're going to have to put up with some dark stuff. Here's a reassurance. Again, a reassurance. Even the usurper went under the Iliac before he rose up to claim his feet. I know that Iliac Bay is a place. And assumably this is about somebody who fell into the Iliac Bay and maybe drowned, but he got up again. Fear for only a second. Shake and believe is like water for a purpose. In the garden of dawn, we shall breathe whole realities. Okay, so now that you're in, people might say, hey, this is crazy. But no, no, you should, you should, you shouldn't listen to them. This book's got all the answers. You should, you should join this cult. Um, if anyone in my fan base is part of a cult, please leave. Not my fan base, leave the cult. It's not good for you. And if you're like, well, my guys aren't a cult, but no, they're a cult though leave uh enter as lord dagon has written come slow and bring four keys our order is based on the principles of his mighty razor okay i know that merun's dagon's razor is like the important daedric artifact that you can find i didn't know that it had like all this mythology beyond it's just a knife that he used that's cool novitiate questing knight chaplain and master let the evil ones burn in its light as if by the excess of our vision Oh, we have seen too much. That's the excess of our vision. And so others discern, deserve to burn for it? Maybe? Then shalt all knowledge go aright. Recall your sight is yet narrow, and while you have the invitation, you don't have the address. Okay, so you just need to learn more. My own summons came through a book Lord Dagon wrote himself in the des deserts of rest of deserts of rust and wounds. I don't know what that is. Is that just the area where the Red Guards are from? Its name is the Mysterium Zarxes. Aldmeretada aggregate. So presumably all generations of the Aldmer aggregate, which just means like joined together. Forefather to the wife of all enigma. How many pages is this? Okay. Each word is razor fed and secret, thinner than cataclysms, tarnished like red drink. That I mention it as all is testament to your new rank, my child. Your name is now cut into its weight. So because you're... you're because this, these are words written by a guy who has the words of the man himself, and he got a new name from it, and you should get a new name. Because each word is special. Presumably that's what razor fed, secret, and yada yada means. Um, and that I bring this up to you is because you're cool. No, you're, you're awesome. You should definitely join because you're great and we need you. A lot of, lot of cultist indoctrination stuff. Palace Hutter Cave, you left the fog worlds of conception behind. New Mantia. Liberty, rejoice in the promise of paradise. This is just fluff. New Mantia is like presumably like you're going to have new mantle, maybe. Unless that's a word I don't recognize. Uh, endless age will form and reform around you. Deeds as entities, subsystems only an hour before they bloom to zero sums. Zero sum is a thing. Zero sum is what happened to, uh, arguably what happened to the Dwemer. And it's what happens to people who almost achieve godhood and then stumble. If you are about to achieve godhood and then you botch... You become nothing and, and you get wiped out of reality. Um, so, so maybe your liberty will reform around you. Um, and in, in reforming, they must zero sum first, but they'll reform. Maybe. Divine ra raiment, firing like vestments, divine raiment worn to dance at Lord Dagon's golden feet. 
and his first arm a storm, and his second the rush of plagued rain, the third all the tinder of Anu, and the fourth the many eyes of Padhome. So these are the four steps again. I don't know why they said arm. But, you know, you're just going to need to take these with you as you go. Uh, feel uplifted in thine heart that you have this first key, for it shall strike high and low into the worm rot of false heavens. So just feel good that you have this book. Roaring, I wandered until I grew hoarse with the gospel. I had read the mysteries of Dagothur and feeling anew, my mad went with the overflow. Went mad with the overflow. So this is just, this is some typical Cthulhu stuff. He read too much and got nuts. Uh, these words were not words for the common of Tamriel, whose clergy long ago feigned the very existence of the dawn. Learn from my mistake. Humility was Manker Cormoran's original wisdom. Come slow and bring four keys. So don't shoot your mouth off when you're dealing with Dagon. Okay, that makes sense. Offering myself to that daybreak allowed the girdle of grace to contain me. So giving myself up completely to that cool news, new stuff that I had. Let grace contain me, presumably protect me. When my voice returned, it spoke with another tongue. After three days, I could speak fire. Does that just mean that you could you learned magic? Or is it like a thum? Is it is it another speaking power? Because this looks like a speaking power. You know, it would make sense that the fourth Elder Scrolls game, the Elder Scrolls Four, would be about speaking. Like, arguably the fourth part of the Trinity, of the Tribunal. Um, does that mean that all the other ones have one? Like, is Arena Fighter, is Daggerfall Stealth, and is Morrowind Mage? Because that'd be kind of interesting. I don't know if that's the case. Red drink razor fed, I've glimpsed the, glimpsed the path unto the garden and knew that to inform myself of its harbor, I had to first drown myself in the search's sea. Know, th know ye that I have found my fleet and that you were the flagship of my hope. Greetings, novitiate. Manker Camoran was once you, unwise, protonymic, asleep, but am no more. So just doing this, I was able to upgrade myself. Now I sit and wait to feast with thee on all the worlds of this cosmos. New Mantia Liberty. Okay. So just keep the path. You'll get good. I like how it's like, oh, it's, this one's one of the rarest books ever. Almost no one's ever even heard of it. 80 gold. Only 20 more than the one prior. And this book, oh, no one's even, no one even knows if it exists. No one's ever seen a copy. It's the rarest book of all. 20 more gold than the last one. And only 100 total. I have 10 times that in my pocket. Oh, God. I'm just trying to open this book. Oblivion, can I? Nope, crashed. <laughs> okay. All right. I'm going to, I'm going to upload this as like a half episode, like a, 8.2 and then like an 8.5 and then maybe an 8.7 because um th these have these have no gameplay i'm just reading books uh but let's get back in whosoever findeth this document i call him brother answers or liberations with a slave of malbioge that came down to know numantia cast on their jailer king mat maztiak with a zarzi's mysterium called the arcane okay Answers or liberations. So first of all, more indoctrination stuff of like, hey, if you found this, you're my brother. I love you. Um, answers or liberations. By by learning more of this stuff, you'll be more free. Isn't that what you want? Do you want to be more free? I don't know Malbios. Is that a term for a, a god I don't recognize? Um, and then Maztiak is probably a god that I also don't recognize. Um, slaves of Malbios. Maybe this is new mythology altogether. I know that Eld Elder Scrolls usually does this thing that I actually kind of like, where like, no, there are these eight gods. Arguably nine. Like, there are these gods. Every time you think about a god, it'll be that guy. Uh, however, every single culture has their own name for that god. So like, you know, obviously some people don't worship every god, or they worship the Daedra instead, or they have like an ancestor worship thing. Um... But, like, everyone at least knows that, like, Shigarath is, like, a guy. Like, he's real. And um, some people worship Shigarath as, like, hey, Shigarath. And, and like, some people call him Sheogorath. And some people say Shigarath. 
and some people call him Shayoth. Uh, and I think the Kaiji have a silly name for him. They call him like, like Trickster Cat or like Milk Drunk Kitten or something silly like that. But anyway, my assumption is that these are just the names for gods where I don't recognize the name itself. Uh, Mastiac, whose carcass was dragged through the streets by his own bone walkers and whose flesh was open on rocks thereon, and those angels who loved him did no longer let drink from his honeyed ickers screaming, let all know free will and do as they will. So they killed some guy who's important. His own, his own slaves, his own like zombie guys, like dragged him around. Um, and the angels who formerly loved him no longer gave him pass and were like, you know what? Yeah, let's let, let's let everyone be free. Your coming was foretold, brother, by the Lord Dagon in his book of razors. You are to come as idols drop away from you one by one. So as you lose disillusion with reality, you should come closer to Merun's Dagon. You are exalted in eyes that have not yet set on you. You swain to well-traveled shatterer of mantles so again mantling um you are exalted in eyes that have not yet set on you we will think that you're cool but we haven't met you yet simple cold indoctrination you brother are to sit with me in paradise and be released of all unknowns indeed i shall show you his book and it's foul and many feathered rubric <laughs> i love rubric i only hear rubric in like a school sense like and not even like in a college sense like that's that's like public school so that's fun so that you can put into symbols what you already know the sphere of destruction is but the milk of the unenslaved so all of the bad shit that happens to you is actually good stuff for people who have power over you i fault not your stumbling for they are expected and given grace by the oils what are the oils i crave not your downfall though without them you might surpass me even the coming earth of all infinities dagoth ur miss wishes you no ills but the momentous and as he wants, you must want. So learn from the pages of God this, the ritual of want. So, hey, there's some bad stuff that's going to happen to you, but you got to deal with it because it's going to be good, ultimately. Um, whisper to earth, to earth and earth, where the meddlers take no stones except to blood, as blood is blood, and to the cracking of bone as bone is bone. And so to crack and answer and fall before the one in one, I call you dragon as brother and king. Dragon is typically reserved for... Um, like the emperors like they're the dragon emperors and so like no you're the dragon ritual of want is that like be ultra real and eventually you can be a dragon like the emperor and like surpass the emperor i guess that's why they made such a big deal about assassinating the emperor you know that makes sense i call you dragon as brother and king Tides of tides of Dra, seven and seven, drawn of oil, one and one. So fourteen drug hides. I still don't know how to pronounce that, Druff. But they're just those little weird monster guys in, in Morrowind. But we just need their hide. I know that I think they're related to Daedra, and I often find them around Daedric shrines, especially ones near the coast. I mean, it has to be near the coast, but I often find them around um coastal Daedric shrines. So they might be related to Daedra. I think they are. I know that like Vivek's triumph over them is like an important thing. Um, circles drawn by wet Debellites. Presumably that just means people who worship Debella. Three conocentric and let their lower blood fall where it may. Lower. Is that like period blood? A birth watched by blackbirds. Hearth fire first. And can't the follow when your hearing is blurred. And raptured he who finally goes unrecorded. Recorded the slaves that, without knowing, turned the wheel. Enslaved all the children of the Arbus as it is. So this is a ritual. Get these leathers. Get some oil. Wet Debellites. What does that mean? How are they wet? There's a lot of, like, birth stuff here. Anyway, first, first of Hearthfire, say this when you start to hear nothing. Enrapture. So, like, take, the, like, get the attention of someone who has finally not been noticed, you know, going unrecorded. The people who are noticed are the slaves who are turning the wheel without knowing it. And the people who are really enslaved are all the children of the universe. So, everyone living here. Okay. Um, 
I'm kind of getting what they're talking about. But there's a lot to think about, and I haven't even gotten all the way through. Um, yeah, I guess I'll call this, like, episode 8.5. Uh, yeah. Um, I'll cut the episode here and then I'll read the next two next time. Um, well, actually, how long are they? Okay. Okay, they're not as long, but I'll still have their own episode for them. Um, but yeah, I'll see you guys next time. This has been, uh, Oblivion. It's just the reading, but... Uh, until then, have a good day, everyone. Bye.